So I'm just away to zero uh, my Tika T3 with the uh, Swarovski Z6i and the new IRA TL35. I only want one rifle, so I've invested in two Dino Mine Think QD quick release mount. So we'll see how they hold zero. So wish me luck. So I've just put a few rounds through the target at 50 and then 100 and the last shot was near on the cross um, bullseye so I'm going to take a look Yeah that's the, the very last shot and which is just slightly to the right but there is a, a breeze left to right this morning um, and I had to play around a wee bit with the windage and the height but it's looking good so I'm going to take that off now and zero that's his Varro I said 6i I'm zeroed so I'm just going to try the TL35 now wish me luck and then I'll put the Z6i on again after that with the quick release mounts and check with the whole zero on easy with these two levers here absolutely terrific now let's zero this so I've got it set at 50 yards at the moment the target so I'll try and get it on paper then and move it out to the hand. Yeah, so that's two shots. And thanks to Paul at Scott Country for the heat patches. Makes a real difference. Happy with that, 100 yards. So just in summary, the QD quick release mounts, a brilliant solution for me. I'm a one rifle man. I, I've got this for stocking during the day. And this for foxing at night. Um, it's a solution for me. It's um, you know it's better for security, isn't it? Just one rifle, and it's better in the pocket as well. So whilst the the mounts they're, they're not cheap, um, they're certainly uh, they make sense for me. Uh, this TL thirty five tube. Just really looking forward to getting it in the field. The clarity on it is absolutely incredible. And I must admit, I'm a bit of a technophobe. Uh, there is a one zero um, shot option on it, a one shot zero option. I did it manually and just used the X and Y axis up and down until I got it spot on. And I've now conquered the um, shortcut menu for the three different zero options on it. And I've set it at 100, 150 and 200 yards, which now takes me on to the next quandary because I use a, an XM30S spotter which I upgraded from the Axiom Key. So I'm now thinking I need a rangefinder for night time for foxing uh, because I think that in conjunction with this would be just absolutely lethal. Um, so yeah, uh, tremendous bit of kit. Clarity is fantastic and really excited to get it out. Um, with regards to the service from Scott Country, just want to say thanks to Paul. Um, for um, guiding me through uh, the best options, uh, helping me with the setup, um, and I'm going to mention a guru now, the one and only Mark Ripley, um, who, you know, genuinely down to earth guy. A personal message him on Facebook, and he talked me through uh, the tube. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so thanks to him uh, for that. 
and um, thanks for watching and I uh, look forward to getting this out in the field and giving it a go and getting some footage. Um, so thanks, all the best.